All right. Seventh grade, lesson A. Um, this is on transformations, and we're on part one. And I know you can't see my face, and that's fine, because I really wanted to zoom in on this, okay? But before um, I teach you what this lesson's about and using this coordinate system, um, I want to talk about a few things first. So let's talk about, um, let's look at a triangle real quick, okay? Let's say I had a triangle that looked like this, okay? And that right angle shows that this is straight, completely 90 degrees angle, okay? Now, what if I took this exact shape, okay? And I'm going to pull up a, I got a um, triangle shape, okay? And so what I want you to see is this is this, for example, okay? What if I flipped it and then laid it down? Okay, it would look something like this. Okay, now <clears throat> if you were to look at those, you might say these are totally different triangles, but they're not. They are congruent, meaning they're the same shape and same size. Now, I may not have drawn it perfectly the same size and the same shape that I'm trying to do, but these are the same shape and the same size. They're just turned differently. For example, this was one, this was two. Okay, so it's the same shape, same size. We just turned it and flipped it and moved it. Okay, and that's what we're going to talk about today is we're going to look at these triangles and we're going to do different things with them. Okay, so this would be like one, and then if I flipped it, that's what it would look like. Okay, and so we're going to learn um, about some of those today. So what I want you to write down is this little chart. Write it on your paper. Okay, and movement on one side and name on the other. All right, and there's going to be three of them. One, two, three. All right, now, um, when we flip something for say this triangle, we are flipping it. You see how I flipped it, or I could even flip it down, flip it over, okay? So that is a flip, and what they call it in math is a reflection, reflection, okay? And that actually makes sense because let's look at this. If I had a triangle right here that looked like this, okay, and I flipped it, guess what you end up seeing? A reflection, like as if a mirror was right here, okay? So a flip is called a reflection in math, all right? Let's talk about the next one. The next one is called a slide, okay? And slides in math are called translation. I have no idea where they came up with that word because if you're usually translating something, it's English to Spanish, etc. So in math, a slide is a translation. For example, a slide would look something like this. There's my triangle. And then if I slide it to the right, then it looks like that. If I slide it down, then it looks like that. So it's just sliding it. You're just basically taking a shape and moving it however you want to move it, sliding it. Okay? Now, we're going to take and put triangles on here and slide them, okay? So that's why I'm explaining that. So the last one is if we turn it, okay? And that is called a rotation. And that one makes sense as well. Rotation, okay, for example, if I have a triangle here and I turn it or rotate it, you have to hold the spot right here and you're going to turn it, okay? So then it would be this, okay? So a turn, you hold the middle part of where if you're wherever you're turning. That's a turn. That's a turn. That's a turn. Now, hopefully you remember turns. This would be a 90 degree turn. Dunk. 180. Dunk. So from here to here made a 180 clockwise turn, meaning it goes in the way the clock goes, okay? 270, 
360 turns. Okay, so turns rotate around like the middle part. Okay, so that's just a quick overview of that. Now, now that we know that, we're going to go to this chart, and I've got it to where it won't erase. Um, this is a wet erase, and I'm going to be using dry so that I can remove and do stuff like that, okay? So the first one I want to talk about is reflection. Now, go on and write this down because you have to take lots of notes for these next things that I'm going to be teaching you, okay? When we're working with reflection, I need you to remember um, that the word that you need to think of is flip or mirror, Mirror, okay? Those are kind of the words that you want to think on, okay? Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a triangle up on here, okay? And so just hang with me for just a minute. Okay. Okay, now this is a tiny triangle, okay, hopefully you can see that um, on there. Okay, now this is A, B, C, just like that. All right, now what they're wanting us to do <coughs> is to reflect this triangle, okay, and here's are the, here are the um, things they're wanting you to do. Here's what it says. We want to reflect triangle A, B, C in the y-axis. Now, do you remember which one this is called? This middle line? I think it's x, right? Okay, it's the y-axis, oh. and this one's the x. Good try. We haven't gone over it that much, so um, the way I remember that is that a y kind of goes straight down. That's kind of how I remember it, okay? And then x is the other one. So this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. That's very important for us to know. Now, Here's what they're wanting us to do. They're wanting us to reflect triangle ABC, and then they use these words, in the Y axis, okay? Now, if this is the Y axis and this is the X axis, whenever you see this word in, I want you to think of a cross, okay? Go in and put a star and draw that on your paper, say that on your paper, so that you know what to do, okay? So, now, if they are wanting me to take this object, triangle ABC, and they are wanting me to reflect it in the y-axis, it actually means across, okay? Across the y-axis. So what they're wanting me to do is they're wanting me to take this shape and they're wanting me to flip it and put it across the y-axis, okay? So... For example, if this is here, and I flip it, then it's going to end up here, across the y-axis. Now, there are some rules to follow when you are doing a reflection, so write these rules down. Rules. Okay? This is important. Um, uh, the object we are reflecting always switches into, or moves, let's say that, always moves into another quadrant. Now, a quadrant, quad meaning four, this is a quadrant, quadrant one, two, three, four. Quadrant one, two, three, four. So, one of the rules for doing reflections is that it's always going to move into another quadrant, meaning I'm not going to flip it and it stay in this quadrant it's always going to move into the next quadrant, whether you're going across the y-axis or across the x-axis. Okay, now, so if I'm doing a reflection of this, what's it going to look like when I cross it over to the y-axis? Um, it's going to look like this, right? Yeah. Okay, now, so if I take this object and we're going to put it over here, now the next rule is it's going to be, and you want to write this down, same distance from the origin. Now, I'll explain what I mean by that, because what does that mean, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so go on and write that down. All right, so 
If I'm moving it across the y-axis, but it needs to be the same distance from the origin, what I want you to notice is this. The origin is this middle, very middle piece that makes a cross. It's zero, zero, basically. Okay, so the main point we want to focus on is the first one that's closest to the origin, okay, which is our B. What is B's point? Well, let's go. One, two, three. So that's negative three. And then up, one, two, positive two. So this would be its coordinates. It's kind of like, um, what's that game you play? Battleship. Battleship, okay? Instead of J2, it's negative three, two. So guess what I'm gonna do here? Instead of it's gonna be in a negative three, it's gonna become a positive three. One, two, three, and then up two. Do you see how these, this is the same exact distance as this is the same exact distance? That's what you wanna focus on. Okay, so now I've got my B, and they call this the B prime, just because they call it prime, it's not a prime number. They're just saying B, it's almost like coming up with another word to say this is our second B, okay? So this is B prime, that's what the word they're using. Okay, now how are we gonna come up with C? Well, C is one, two over more, so guess what? One, two over more, or you could have said negative five, and then so that would be positive five. Okay, so this is my C. All right, now let's do our A. A is one, two, three from B. So A is gonna be one, two, three from B. So hopefully you can see I made a reflection, a flip, okay? But I didn't make a flip and it just flipped right on top of each other. Okay. So, um, what you see here is this would be labeled A, and it's got like this little dash, like A flash. That means A prime, A prime, B prime, C prime. And so that shows you that's the reflection across the y-axis. What if they said to do a reflection in, remember that's the word that really means across, in the x-axis, then you would do this way. So, this is our prime one, so we're not using it anymore. Okay, so now let's pay attention to this. Okay, remember the rules? Let me go ahead and draw this a little bit better. Okay, the rules are that it always moves into another quadrant. Okay, and it's the same distance from the origin. Again, B is the best one. It's the one that's closest to the origin. All right, so what is it? It's one, two, three over and two up. So now it's going to be 1, 2, 3 over, and since we're going across the x-axis, it's going to end up down here, okay? And I drew a little, my son drew some red lines to help us with this, okay? So right now it looks like this. So if it flips or reflects into the next x-axis, it's going to end up looking like that, okay? So we'll leave, I'll show this to you again in just a minute. So let's look at this. So let's flip this, reflect it in the x-axis, across the x-axis. So again, I went one, two, three, up two. So now I'm gonna go one, two, three, down two. And that becomes my B, prime, B prime, okay? Now, um, let's do C. We went one, two over, so guess what it's gonna be? One, two over. This is one, two up here, and this one's gonna be one, two down here. So this is my C, okay? Now my A is gonna be one, two, three from the B. So it's gonna be one, two, three from the B. That's gonna be my A prime. And then when I draw all my lines, as you can see, it did exactly what I wanted it to do, flip, okay? So, the next thing they would ask you are, what are, this is the word you're going to see, what are the coordinates for A prime, B prime, C prime? So, what you're going to do is you're going to say this. You're going to say A prime is 
and you're going to come up with an X and a Y. X always comes first and then Y. So watch what I do. I'm looking for what A prime is. Well, so what I do is I go from my origin, I went 1, 2, 3, which way? To the left. Okay, you're always wanting to do the X origin first because X comes first. So you're always either going to go for the right or the left. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3 to the left, which is a negative 3. Okay? And then how many down? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down. And because it's down, it's also a negative number. Left and down bring forth negative numbers. Right and up bring forth positive numbers. Okay? So A prime is negative 3, negative 5. You understand? Now let's do B prime. B prime is negative 1, 2, 3. Again, it has a negative 3. And then negative 1, 2. Negative 2. And if it helps you to go on and put numbers on here, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then up goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then down goes negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, you're able to see what they are, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, you can easily see I'm going to go negative 3 over and then however many down. So I went negative 3 over and negative 2 down to get to the B. Good. And now what is C prime? My X is going to be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5 over to the left and then negative 1, negative 2. And that would be the coordinates. Okay? So that is how you do reflection. Now we're going to do slide, which is a translation, and turn. And they all have different rules. Isn't that crazy that they're all going to have different rules? Okay? So it's very important that you try to remember what your rules are. Okay? Now, this next one is going to be the translation. Okay? And translations... Translations, remember, are slides. Translations are when you slide, okay? And I'm going to give you some rules um, on my next uh, video that I have already taught previously, so I don't want to have to teach again. So um, the next one's going to teach about translations, all right? That's Lesson 80, Part 2 that you need to flip to or turn to. Ha, ha.